we're driving the Volkswagen Passat. This is a uh, two-time comparison test winner. It's kind of like the middle manager's Mercedes. Fairly quiet, everything's nice and solid. Uh, design is pretty buttoned down. Not too much extravagance, but for many people, that's just what they like. The reigning champ is uh, not raining for me. I think the steering's too heavy, the engine's weak and moany. It's got a great chassis. It's comfortable, it's big inside. The back seat is huge, but uh, it doesn't talk to me the same way the Accord does. It's pretty bland. I don't Truck think like I engine. could live with that engine. I'd rather live with the Ultimate than that. This is the Nissan Altima. It lacks a little bit of the refinement that the Accord has, both in the chassis and in the engine, and particularly in the CVT. I think this one's still a little bit more uh, rubber band-like, but the car tries really hard. I mean, uh, when you're in the corner and you can feel it kind of rotating, you know, overall it's uh, quite a good driver's car for a mid-size sedan. How about the Altima? It's definitely got the poverty pack. Uh, interior. I, I mean, certain. It's the cheapest in the group, though. Um, it's, it's got, got a, some structural quivers, which is what you get a for uh, for a lightweight car. Yeah, yes. it's definitely the impacts just reverb right through it. I don't love the design of it. That sort of looks like a Japanese luxury car. It has the infinity kind of presence. It doesn't feel anything like an infinity. No, no, no it doesn't. The Ford is by far the most extravagantly styled car in this group. It's like the car James Bond would get where he a real person and actually like a mid-level government functionary, two kids. You know, and in this segment it's kind of a standout for that because most of the cars in this group are pretty plain Jane. There's certain trade-offs for the styling. It's got the smallest trunk opening, unquestionably the tightest backseat. Dynamically, it's one of the best chassis in the group. I mean, the steering's really good. The structure is super stiff. The Fusion feels like the German car in this group. Absolutely. Yeah, actually, that's a good Absolutely. point. Yeah, it's got the tightest structure. It, does. it feels Germanic compared yeah, to the, the rest of the group. Mm -hmm. Well, the transmission's working pretty hard to keep things moving. Yes, it is. It's down shifting. Yeah. It's busy. It's an awfully big car. Swiftly. For a little motor. Yeah. For very little engine. Yeah, it's... It's not great at full throttle. At part throttle, it's okay. Around town, it's okay. It's just, I mean, when you really stand on it, it doesn't really go very fast, but none of these cars do. With this car, uh, Honda really proves that they're still masters of harmonization. I mean, everything just works in total symmetry in this car. The steering, the brakes, the suspension, just everything just pulls together to make a really nice driving experience. You feel in total control in this car. The fact that it's smaller is fabulous. And three inches shorter, an inch shorter at the wheelbase, yet you don't really give up interior space. I mean, I don't feel crowded in the car. And the engine is totally smooth. I mean, I don't know what they mount the engine on, but it feels like it's sitting on four Serta mattresses. The cabin's just really isolated from vibration. Honda is back, I have to say. This car is really an impressive statement. These are all volume cars. How do you think this moves the bar for the segment? Well, I think it moves the bar for Honda because it proves that they're not actually tumbling down the bottomless pit, but they've actually figured out who they who they used to be and are crawling their way back. They know what makes the Accord work, and they just turn the volume down on this one. The refinement's a little better, the interior's a little better. The Accord definitely has the best sounding engine, though. It's every bit as good to drive, if not better, than the previous car, but it's smaller, the package is more efficient. It's just it's a great car.